Recent developments have caused S&B to become more bullish on the tobacco industry. I'm Raymond Mathis, alcoholic beverage and tobacco analyst with Standard & Poor's U.S. Equity Research. Last week, the Florida Supreme Court ruled in favor of the tobacco industry in the class action Engel case. The decision upheld a lower court's ruling overturning a $145 billion punitive damage award, which at the time was the largest such award in U.S. history. In addition, the ruling decertified the class. And this is not the first time that appellate courts have held that tobacco cases cannot be treated as class actions. We believe this and other similar rulings indicate that legal pressures on the domestic tobacco industry are beginning to ease. The 2005 ruling in the Department of Justice case eliminated a $280 billion disgorgement claim. And in May 2006, the Illinois Supreme Court denied plaintiff's motion to rehear the price case, affirming a lower court's reversal of the original $10.1 billion claim. We believe the shares of Altria Group, ticker symbol MO, could potentially benefit more than others. Altria is the holding company for wholly owned and majority owned subsidiaries, including the world's largest manufacturer of cigarettes, Philip Morris, and packaged foods, Kraft. The company reported first quarter operating earnings per share of $1.28 versus $1.24 in the prior year. Top line grew 3.1% on acquisitions, positive pricing, and mixed shift, as well as market share gains. Philip Morris USA, the domestic tobacco segment, grew its market share to 50.4% in the first quarter. With ongoing cost reduction efforts, price increases, and increased research and development efforts, we see wider margins for Philip Morris USA going forward. Although Philip Morris international tobacco segment's first quarter growth was somewhat negatively impacted by foreign exchange fluctuations, we were encouraged by rising volumes in mature markets such as France and Germany. We believe acquisition and increased ownership opportunities globally will support continued momentum for Philip Morris International. We see 13% revenue growth in 2006 due to recent acquisitions in Indonesia and Colombia in addition to an equity joint venture with the China National Tobacco Company. Although Kraft Segment's first quarter revenue grew 0.8%, restructuring charges negatively impacted contribution. We expect major restructuring efforts that began in 2004 to be completed soon and therefore see improved volumes and look for margin expansion in late 2006. In late June, we upgraded the shares of Altria to strong buy. At the time, the shares had declined 3.5% in 2006 versus an average 13.1% rise for tobacco company peers, making the shares relatively undervalued in our view. Currently trading at only 15 times our 2006 earnings per share estimate of $5.25, and with a 4.1% current yield, we continue to view the shares as attractively valued. In addition to valuation considerations, we believe Altria is likely to restructure into two or three standalone entities. Management has discussed the possibility of breaking up the tobacco and packaged food segments in an effort to unlock the value of individual companies for shareholders. Major litigation was the largest hurdle to pursuing the breakup, but with recent court victories, we believe the strategy is increasingly likely to be implemented in the coming 12 to 18 months. With the litigation environment improving, we've reduced our risk assumptions for our discounted cash flow model purposes. As a result, both our DCF model and our sum of the parts analysis indicate our 12-month target price of $90. We recommend buying the stock for total return potential.